uh, before I got to Southcrest, I was involved with scouting. Uh, that was really the first place I encountered uh, service. Um, when I came here, I was looking for a place to get plugged in. We were at Northgate High School and we had uh, to break down everything in the worship service and put it back in the storage buildings. So that's really in Southcrest, the first place I started serving. It felt so good to uh, help other people with what they needed. Um, I, it just it just felt like I was drawn toward that, the the um, the act of giving or, or helping somebody else made me feel good. I just feel like it's helped me. It's helped me in my walk and my growth, uh, my relationship with God. Um, I'm just drawn toward helping people. I've been involved in a few do good projects. Um, one of the projects was repairs at uh, Miss Lestina Hines' home. I was a project manager, and she had some plumbing needs, uh, pressure washing the house. The biggest part of the project was uh, floor repair. Oh, God has blessed my life using Southcrest Do Good Group in, in ways that I, I, I would have to spend a, a, quite a while saying the people to do services like that for a needy widow lady <laughs> was, I was just so grateful and warmed by their willingness. And when they left, I looked around and I thought, my goodness, such a good job. And, and I was so thrilled with the entrance to my front door. It was just heartwarming to see good people do good work. In looking back, I I can remember a time when I felt like everything was about me and for me. Um, I wasn't really looking for a place where I could help. And as I've grown, as things have changed, um, now I look for opportunities to help other people. And it's really fulfilling for me. And I think that we're all called to do that. I think we're all wired in different ways to serve in, in specific areas. And it takes everybody's gifts together to fulfill what the church needs and to, to, to bring Jesus to the world.